Are you ready? Three, two, one. Hello! Hello. Nailed it! Yes! Uh, exceptional. I don't even think we need to shoot now. Flawless. I spent this entire morning watching soldiers coming home to their dogs. Oh my god, I watched it. <laughs> I just, it's brutal. I literally was just laying in bed, just gently weeping as I ate my breakfast, just watching soldiers coming home to their dogs. Sometimes I can't. My heart can't. My mother sent me something, and the subject line said, elephants reunite after 20 years, and I was like, delete. <laughs> so my own heart can't take it. I can also Google for hours, unlikely friendships, unlikely animal friendships. Like a goat and a donkey. Oh my God, a turtle and a dog. That's Sarah nice. Silverman and Hannah Hart. That's what this one is. My Drug Kitchen, unlikely friendships. Also, incredible tans. So, this week on a very special My Drunk Kitchen, I have incredible guest and demigod, Sarah Silverman! Thank you so much, thank you. Sarah, do you like drinking? I don't drink, it tastes bad. Yeah, what about wine? Tastes like mayonnaise earwax to me. For those of you that don't know, an indica is a type of blend that will make you uh, feel relaxed and um, what some people call the stoned. I mean, how can people think that alcohol is better than weed when it's like the worst thing that happens to me on a Sunday if I spend it smoking is I've listened to too much jazz. <laughs> but sativas don't do that for me. They make her they feel like panic. Panic. Fed. Yeah, like anxiety-ish. I'm an indica girl. And today, so is Hannah. The first thing that we're going to be cooking is veggie pot pie. It's the first thing, but it's also the only thing. It's a big undertaking. It is. As a general rule of thumb on my drunk kitchen, we don't use sharp knives, but on this episode, I mean, this is totally different and fun. These are good looking carrots. Thanks, I went to the farmer's market today. Isn't that amazing? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. good call. I'm not even using recipe, I'm just using my memory. I think that means that I'm really like progressing as a chef. Potato. Potato. We say it the same way. Thank God. <laughs> this kind of looks like art, don't you think? That's plenty. Really? Yeah, oh, really. You know what you're doing. I think because like I'm smoking oh, yeah. instead mm -hmm. of drinking, it's just so much easier than I ever thought. I find that pot, if it if it's if it's your cup of tea, is really good with the muscle me memory stuff. Cause I like to smoke it when I play basketball, and I get I'm either terrible or I get into a crazy zone and my arms extend. I can feel them. I hear myself saying things like "Not on my watch." Nothing but baskets. I, are you a vegetarian? I'm a vegetarian. I eat cheese because I'm an American. Yeah. Look at these three even piles. Onions. Oh, and I brought honey sticks in case you like yeah, honey. I love honey. Do you really? Because I love honey too. I always I eat honey every day. This is wildflower, so it's good for pollen allergies. <laughs> Hold on. We just have to show the next ingredient. If you like it, then you should have put some broccoli. Yeah. How many the people? Chopping broccoli. I chopping broccoli. God, I love broccoli. You know what's a great snack? I forget about this a lot. Cherry tomatoes mm. in a bowl with a mm. ton of sea salt mm. and eat, mm. watch TV and eat mindlessly all you want. This is great because I it, it's fulfilling my munchies, except it's just broccoli. So I'm probably like doing myself a favor right now. Oh my God, I'm so healthy. It's right so now. good though. Everything that's wrong in the world is greed. One thing I've learned is you can't go back. If you take that one puff too many and you get into like a spiralish zone. Take yeah. a puff every once in a while, make it a treat. Don't make it your life. I have to say though, like comparatively to my drunk kitchen where at this point I'm sweating, my liver is <laughs> yelling at my kidneys and I'm, you know, eating spoonfuls of macaroni and cheese with mm -hmm. my hands. On this episode, I'm eating, snacking on vegetables and drinking water. And later I'm gonna stretch. Oh my god, it's so good. Don't go that far. This is go. as far as I can go. As soon as you feel it, stop there. Oh my god, I feel and it. And every day you'll go farther and farther. Don't push. Okay guys, so the next step. <laughs> dough is the next step. Great, great, great. So now, oh shit. Do you have a pie tin? Maybe. Ooh, oh, that's is that perfect. big enough? Yeah. Oh my god, there are my oven mitts. <laughs> Oh, Should I preheat it? Oh, yes, Sarah, yes! Next, we're gonna take the dough, put them in the tins, and evenly spread it out so we can stuff it all with a little bit of like milky, creamy stuff, I think, and all the vegetables. 
Oh. Like buttery milk. Oh. Oh. So guys, you see all of our wonderful, beautiful ingredients. Um, we almost have, if we had celery, we'd have a mirepoix of carrots, celery, and onion. But instead we have potato for stuff and other things also. Oh, and kale because, you know. Kale. What doesn't kale you, only makes you stronger. <laughs> wow, that looks like real food. But it needs like butter. Is that good or did I, should I not push it on there? I think that's amazing. We're gonna put this in the oven and then we're gonna hang out and I'll see you when we get back. Oh my God, it's just like Oreo brownie. Mmm. And it's like, what if you took Oreos mm. and combine them with whipped with cream cheese? Whipped cream cheese? No, just cream cheese. Mmm. Wow. Wow! Look at that! Look it at looks that! a little bit like a... That looks like chicken pot pie! It does! Cheers, guys! Mmm! Oh my god! This is like real food! Mm hmm We should start a food chain. And we just make different pot pies. That's the only thing the restaurant serves is like variations of pot pie. If you really did it and followed through, it would be incredible. Mmm! Mmm! And then also just like adding another carrot. There's more vegetables. What's one thing you would tell your 13 year old self today? Oh, brush your teeth and floss your teeth every day. I did though, I'm good. Yeah. Death creeps in through the gums. If you don't realize that, you're doomed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. And, and thank you so much to Sarah Silverman for being absolutely lovely and wonderful and making a beautiful pot pie with me. Totally. And then making a franchise plan. Which, <laughs> for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, you can subscribe to find me here. And for more Sarah Silverman, go and check out her new short and hilarious piece of comedy art. Truly revolutionary. Cops. What? That was close. Cops come dicks and flying. It's a, it's a haiku almost.